Welcome my friend. Today I have a, an upper body stretch sequence for us. So while we're gonna spend a lot of time on our upper body, I'll also give some love and tend to our lower body as well. You'll need two yoga blocks for our practice um, and maybe have a strap nearby just in case we're going to take cow face pose. So that can be nice to have a strap if that is not accessible in your body. All right, my friends, um, hop into something comfy and I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll begin our practice seated in a cross leg position, sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your hands wherever feels comfortable. You can take a soft gaze forward or gently close your eyes. Let's breathe in, lengthen up through the crown of your head. On the exhalation, relax your shoulders back and down, softening them away from your ears. We'll begin our practice with a gentle neck stretch. So breathe in. And then on the exhale, lower your right ear towards your right shoulder. And we'll hold it here for a few breath cycles. Nourishing breaths. Inviting softness and ease into the space of your neck. You can spider your left fingertips off to the side. That helps to deepen the stretch. Very slowly, draw a line with your nose in the direction of your shoulder. Feeling the stretch travel. And slowly and mindfully draw a line with your nose up towards the sky. Feel all those sensations. And on your inhale, lift up to center nice and slow. Bring your left hand in. Let's breathe in, lengthen up. And on the exhale, soften your left ear towards your left shoulder. Spidering your right fingertips off to the side if you're looking for a deeper stretch. smile upon your face. So we draw a line with your nose down towards your shoulder. Slowly and mindfully, drawing a line with your nose up towards the sky. Feel the stretch travel, traveling to the front side of your neck. up to center. Beautiful, my friends. Coming into our cow face, so grabbing that strap if it's needed. We'll add in shoelace pose. So bring your left or your right leg on the bottom, and then bring your left on top. Bring your heels near your hips, stacking your knees. 
Breathe in, lengthen up. Extend your right arm up to the sky. Bending at your elbow to lower your hands to the space of your upper back. And then your left arm sweeps behind to clasp fingertips. My hoodie's in the way. <laughs> now, if that's not accessible in your body, you can just bring your uh, opposite arm to clasp that elbow and gently press it down. Or you can add in that strap. So just grabbing it with your top arm and then wherever is accessible with your bottom hand. And then you can slowly inch your fingertips towards one another. Let's breathe and find length. And on the exhale, with a long spine, you can hinge forward or you can just stay lifted up tall. Just noticing what feels best in your body and honoring yourself right where you're at. Keep your heart lifted, broad across your chest. You can hold in stillness or maybe it sounds nice to take a gentle sway. Breathe in to lift and lengthen. On the exhale, go ahead and soften. Bring your fingertips to behind you to unwind your legs and we'll take it over to the second side. Your left leg on bottom this time. Bring your heels near the opposite hip, knees stacked. If you find that there's a gap between your knees, you can place a, like a folded blanket or a yoga block in between to help support your body. And then let's add in our arms. So extending your left arm up to the sky, bending at the elbow, right arm sweeps behind. Breathe and lift and lengthen. Explore our three different options of clasping your fingers, using the strap, or maybe just taking your right hand to that top elbow and just drawing it down. Level of flexibility may be different on this side compared to that of the first. Just honor your body right where it's at. I'm taking note of the subtleties of you. We'll breathe and lift and lengthen. On the exhale, if you like, you can hinge forward, finding movement or holding in stillness. Just, just make sure that heart remains lifted. We're broad and open across your chest. We're not collapsing, rounding forward. Let's breathe in, lift and lengthen. And the exhale, go ahead and soften, releasing your arms. Bring fingertips behind you to unwind your legs and bring your soles of feet to the mat and fan your knees over to one side and then the other. Take that one more time on each side. Feeling the sensations throughout the space of your hips. Let's make our way to hands and knees. Coming into tabletop pose, so line your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hip points. We're coming into puppy pose. So keeping your hips aligned over your knees, just as they are, slowly walk your palms forward to melt your heart towards the earth. Grounding your forehead. If your forehead doesn't quite reach, you can place a yoga block underneath your forehead. Sits bones lengthen towards the sky. 
On your inhale, feel your chest expand front to back and side to side. Armpits yearning towards the earth. Press into your palms to shift yourself forward, lowering your torso all the way to the mat. We're coming into Sphinx Pose, so slide those palms forward so your elbows align underneath your shoulders. If you feel any pinching in your lower back, you can walk your elbows forward a little to soften the pose. And if you're looking for a deeper stretch, you can walk your elbows back in space. Let's press down through your forearms and your elbows to lift up through your shoulder girdle. Draw your shoulder heads back, pulling that heart center forward. Ground your pubic bone into the earth, lengthening your tailbone to the space between your heels. Soft smile upon your face. We're getting into our mid-back and upper back here. exhalation soft and forward bring your palms underneath your shoulders and press yourself up we're moving into thread the needle pose so line your knees underneath your hip points wrists underneath your shoulders and on your inhale breathe in to reach your right fingertips up to the sky big breath in here on the exhalation, thread your arm underneath your opposite over to the left side, grounding that right shoulder to the earth. Your left hand can extend out long. You can make a tent with that hand to help stack your shoulders, create space across your chest, or you can take that hand behind your lower back. Just keep space between your shoulders and your ears here. If you notice your hips are pressed over to the left side, go ahead and line them back up over your hip points, noticing how that little adjustment changes the sensations of the stretch. Bring your left palm underneath your shoulder. On your inhale, press down to that palm to breathe and unwind your arm, lifting it up to the sky. Exhalation, you'll return your right palm to the mat. Let's breathe and extend your left arm up to the sky. On the exhale, thread it through over to the right side, grounding that left shoulder to the earth in the side of your face. Take whatever variation feels best with your right hand. Smooth, nourishing breaths. Return your right palm to the mat. On your inhale, unwind, extending your left fingertips up to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale. 
exhalation to lower. Moving into a low lunge from here. So step your right foot forward. Finding your front knee so it's in line with your ankle, not going past. So adjust your stance as needed. Feel your hip points square to the front of the mat. And on your inhalation, let's breathe and just circle your fingertips up to the sky. Adding in our eagle arms. Breathe and open your arms wide. Lift your heart. Exhalation, arms sweep through center. Right arm on top. Find your arms once or twice. And if this feels like too much, you can just clasp along the backside of your shoulders. If you're taking eagle arms, lift your elbows up and then press your palms away to the space in front of you. Big nourishing breaths here. Sending that in-breath into the space of tightness or tension you may be feeling. Option to soften your chin towards your chest. Staying mindful of your hips, gently scissoring your thighs so hip points remain square to the front of the mat. Staying bent in that front knee. Very slowly, mindfully, unwind. Taking a big breath in, drawing your elbows back, lifting your heart. And exhalation, lower hands to frame your front foot. Let's tuck those back toes and we'll press up and step back into our downward facing dog. Gonna pedal those feet out. Sinking one heel towards the earth, and then the other. My hamstrings are sore from my practice yesterday, and this feels so nice. Sinking your breath with the movement of your body. Let's go ahead and find stillness. Taking that over to the second side, so let's step your left foot forward. Soften your back knee to the mat. Ensure that your front knee is in line with your ankle. Hips are square. And on your inhale, breathe in, just circle your fingertips up to the sky. On your next inhalation, open your arms wide side to side. This time we'll sweep your arms through center left on top this time, finding them once or twice or grasping your shoulders. If you're taking eagle arms, lift your elbows and press your hands away to the space in front of you. Option to soften your chin towards your chest. Scissor those thighs and take long, slow, nourishing breaths, sending your in-breath into any areas of tightness or tension you may be feeling. And on your exhalation, visualize the tightness, the tension releasing from your body with your breath. We'll slowly unwind, taking a big breath in, drawing your elbows wide, lifting your heart, soft smile upon your face. Exhalation, hands lower to frame your foot. Mindfully step your front foot back, coming into tabletop. Now we're going to return to our puppy pose, but this time let's take a variation with our blocks. So place your blocks either on the lowest setting or medium, and we will lower our elbows to the blocks. 
for our puppy pose. So line your knees underneath your hip points. Lower your elbows to the blocks. Bring your hands to kiss. And then your prayer will lower to the base of your skull like a shark fin. And if this feels like too much, you can remove the blocks and just return to our puppy pose, taking the shark fin. We'll slowly press up. Mindfully moving out of the pose, removing the blocks. Let's bring your feet off to one side to bring them out in front of you. We'll find our easy seat, our cross leg -like seated position. So you get up nice and tall. Let's take a gentle twist to the left. And a gentle twist to the right. And return to center. Breathe in to extend your right arm out in front of you and then cross it over your body. Opposite hand comes below or above the elbow joint. Drawing that arm back towards your body. Space between shoulders and ears. And if you would like to add in a neck stretch, you can lower your left ear towards your left shoulder. Lift your head back up to center, unwind your arms, extend your arms out long. And then soften down, left arm out long, cross it over your body. And gently draw that arm towards your body, making sure you maintain space between your shoulders and ears. Relaxing those shoulders back and down. Feel free to add in that next stretch if you'd like. Lowering your right ear towards your right shoulder. So we lift your head back up to center and take a big breath in, opening your arms wide. And soften down and take a few shoulder circles. As big or as small as feels good in your body, just feel them out. Switch directions. Beautiful, my friends. Let's breathe and circle those fingers up, up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss, simmering all that love and light down to your heart center. Bring your thumbs to your sternum and your sternum reaching up towards your thumbs. And just take a moment to feel into your body, into the space of your upper body, noticing how it feels now compared to when we first stepped on the mat together. Let's breathe in to raise prayer to your third eye. Exhalation, bow forward to your heart. Namaste. Thank yourself for taking this time to nurture your body.